This is a quick tips tutorial for Silhouette Studio. We are designing with stacked text today. I do try to keep these videos under three minutes long and I ran over just a little bit. So we're going to keep this short and sweet. My name is Brenda Lambert. For those of you that are new around here, I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette. You found your way to Silhouette Success. There's a lot of information to cover in this video, so let's get started. I have my text typed out here. Select that, head over to the text style panel, and choose Outright Bold. I picked up Outright Bold from Creative Fabrica, and I will link that in the description below. Now, I want to have an outline around all of these letters. So the first thing I'm going to do is increase my character spacing so that I have more room in between the letters for my outline. Let's head up to the offset panel here. I want to create squared corners instead of round corners, and then click apply. Each letter's offset is separate, so I'm going to right click and group those together, and then create an offset of the offset. Keeping the distance the same, click on apply, and group all of those together. Just to make things easier, I'm going to move the actual text away, select both of the offsets, right click, and make a compound path. There is the outline for all of my letters, so let's slide the text back into place. Select all of that, group it together. The next thing we're going to do is get our design sized. I want the top of the design to touch one line, then I'm going to skip a line, and I want the bottom to touch this line here. So it's going to be two inches tall. And zoom in to see if we have it. Stretch it just a bit more. And slide it over. Now that I have it sized, I need a copy. So duplicate and set that off to the side. Now we're going to take this part and cut it right in half with our knife tool. Line it right up with that middle line there. Hold down the shift key and drag that out. Check the placement, make sure that's okay. And then click on apply. At this point, all of these pieces are separate. So we need to group them together. We can hit the undo button to put that back into place and just use our selector tool to grab all of the pieces that we wanna group. Right click, group. Now we can pull this away and grab all of the pieces on the bottom. Right click and group. We can pull our original back in and get it lined up. Then I'm going to take the top row, duplicate that, Set that there, duplicate the bottom, and I'd like to change the original to a different color. Select all of that, right click, group, and at this point you can resize it to fit your needs. 